Turtles are part of the reptile family, and some turtles can live over 80 years. Turtles are cold-blooded, which means they need the sun to warm their bodies. A group of turtles is called a bale. The largest species of sea turtle is the leatherback. They can be between four and nine feet long and can weigh over 2,000 pounds. Some turtles can breathe water through their rear ends. That lets them stay underwater to avoid their enemies. Pretty cool, huh? Brain play. What are three things you'd like to know about your friends? If they're a nice person. If they're there for me. Who they hang out with and what they do. They know me a lot and they just care for me. I like to know if they're nice and if they're the same age as me and if they like the same things that I like. Today on Ever Wonder, we're at Calkins Creamery, a dairy farm that makes cheese. Emily and Maggie are going to show us their process. There are many different types of cheese, but the first step is always milking the cow. The milk is stirred in the pasteurizer, which heats up and kills off bacteria that naturally lives in the milk. Starter cultures and rennet are added, which helps to make the milk curd and stick together. After stirring and resting, the cheese becomes wobbly, which means it's almost ready. After it becomes more solid, they divide the cheese up into small squares. Extra liquid from the cheese, called whey, is drained out and the cheese is stirred again. After it's completely drained, it's divided and then hooped, which is when they put it in different containers. It looks like popcorn. This cheese is wrapped up in a cheesecloth and then pressed, which gets rid of the excess moisture and forms the shape of the cheese. This other cheese is being poured into molding containers and is then flipped several times. Cheese can also be dipped in wax, left to grow mold around it, or soaked in a brine for more flavor. Next time you're eating a delicious cheese curd, be sure to thank your local cow. What's a chimpanzee's? Favorite ice cream? I don't know, what? Mint chocolate chimp. Get it like a monkey chimp and chocolate oh. chip. Oh. Hey Lala, why did the chicken cross the road? Did it get to the other side? It seemed like an excellent idea. <laughs> <laughs> Where does the polar bear keep all its money? A snowbank. Hey Mia. What? Why did the wolf cross the street? Oh, not again. To get to the other side? No, he was chasing the chicken. Oh. Hey, Alyssa, why didn't the boy trust the tiger? I don't know. He thought he was a lion. <laughs> get it, get it? <laughs> make it. Today we're going to make a Fuzzy Friends magnet. Materials are cotton balls, glue, magnet, scissors, and a jar lid and some decorations. So what do we do first? First, we just take a jar of wood. Okay. And take a whole bunch of cotton balls. Okay. Not too much glue, but... Like circle it around. Yeah. yeah. I think wait. these would be great gifts. Okay, I'm done, so... Is it okay if I go ahead and put it on my magnet? Oh yeah, sure. There you go. Thanks. You might want to make the magnet a little bit bigger, as long as the cap, so that way you'll be able to stick it on the fridge. Okay. I'm going to start with the eyeball. This is going to be an unusual dog because it has a peach nose. 
my dog has a nice little smile. I need to trim my dog hair, so. Oh, that's so cute. And then I'm gonna put the little lamb face right there. Cute. Oh, I like yours. Thank you. I like yours too. Thanks. I like your legs. Oh, that's so cute. Can you figure out who I am? With the right instructions, I can make anything. When I went to school, I studied engineering and design. Someday, the technology I work with might be able to build human organs. I design things on a computer that can then become real. Some of the things I can make at my job include plastic toys, scale models, and even prosthetic limbs. Who am I? A 3D printer technician. Name some rules that help people stay safe. Don't cross the street unless you have, unless you look both ways, you have an adult, or there's a crossing guard. Don't go anywhere you're not supposed to without an adult. Don't run in the middle of the street when a car is coming. Don't play with fire, knives. If you're taking a walk or you're going somewhere, always have an adult or someone older than you. Don't eat poisonous food. Watch your step. Some lemurs are nocturnal, which means they are mainly awake during the night. Because of their limited vision, lemurs rely a lot on their sense of smell. When lemurs are low on food, they will sometimes slow down their metabolism. In some species of lemurs, their tails are longer than their bodies. Lemurs have stink bites to control their territory. The stinkiest lemur wins! Pretty cool, huh? What type of machine do you use to raise pigs? A pork lift. <laughs> what wakes up a rooster? A clock doo 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 doo! Why can't you tell a secret in a cornfield? I don't know, why? Because there were too many ears. Oh, I get it, like, like ears of corn. <laughs> what do horses do at bedtime? I don't know. They hit the hay. <laughs> What do you call a pig that sat out in the sun too long? Oh, I don't know. Bacon! <laughs> hey, Jared. Hey, Sam. Why don't sheep like being in crowds? Because they're bashful. Correct. Bashful. Ba ba Bacon! Today we're going to make a fruit parfait. The ingredients are vanilla yogurt and fruit. Do you think we should cut them into like little small pieces like this? Let's do it small. So it can okay. fit into our parfait. I think it's time to start our parfaits. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna put yogurt first. I'm gonna start with fruit first. I'm on the layer of strawberries. I'm on my yogurt layer. I'm doing two things on one layer. <laughs> I have tons of fruit in mine. Okay, let's try it. Really good. Delicious. Delicious. Great job, guys. Can you figure out who I am? I work together with a big team of people. I help my group train, practice, exercise, and learn different strategies. We compete against other teams who have been preparing all year too. Each winter, my team works together to win a big prize that proves we're the best in the country. 
If I lead my team to victory, we earn the title of champions, and we have a parade. Who am I? A football coach. Thank you.